I'm Julia, and I'm not a big dumb nerd, even though the teleprompter says otherwise. Okay, yeah, sure, whatever. I'm Aiden, official human trash can, and there's been quite a few shenanigans with Mass Effect recently. Yes, Aiden, official human trash can. You heard right, Trump is now here to save humans from utter galactic destruction. Okay, hold on, wait a second. I'm gonna need you to shed some light on this situation or before <laughs> I curse you to a vow of Shilinch. <laughs> well, interestingly enough, someone made a fan video of Trump saving the endangered American people while narrated through Mass Effect's Elusive Man. Okay, okay, so wait, Trump retweeted it? Man, how'd Bioware or EA react? Uh, you know, they were not a fan. EA stopped that pretty quickly and didn't approve of their assets being used for political purposes. Okay. The tweet itself is gone, the video is gone from YouTube, but it's still available on Twitter. Oh, okay, that's, that's pretty fair coming from EA's standpoint. Though, for me, the video comes off more satirical, like pretty, like a parody. But, I mean, when it comes to drama involving EA, their feet are a little bit more than wet. I thought you were about to mention Mass Effect Andromeda. <laughs> did something happen? Oh yes, it did. In this day and age, the only real news happens with leaks. So on April 2nd, someone dropped some possible footage of the next Mass Effect Andromeda. There, there's not too much information considering it's only 50 seconds long, but it does come with some royalty-free saucy beats and some pretty cool jetpack action. <laughs> Neato. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so there's not much information on this yet, but I'm nope. pretty excited for this new installment. I love Bioware. Yeah, and you are entitled to your own wrong opinions, especially since you might have actually bought an Xbox One a bit too late. Too late? Mm-hmm. Yeah, bruh. Phil Spencer, who's the big cheese of Xbox, recently clarified some information considering some possible Xbox One upgrades. Long story short, he wants the people to know that it's not going to be an Xbox 1.5. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to technology, there's that golden rule that the second you buy a new device, the next upgrade is being sold in stores. Yeah, definitely. Especially when it comes to being a PC gamer, upgrades become obsolete pretty quickly. Which is why Phil Spencer is not going with an upgrade-based model. Yeah, he was quoted saying, Am I going to break open my console and start upgrading individual pieces of that console? That's not our plan. Mm -hmm. You buy an appliance-like device, you plug it into your TV, it works when you plug it in. So we won't be looking at a straight up new generation of Xbox, but maybe an upgrade in between. We'll just have to wait on our good old buddy Philly Spence to fill us in with all the deets. Philly Spence. Philly Spence. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. Well, that wraps up our show for tonight. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and check us out at ByteBSU.com. And if you want to stay up to date with all the latest video game and geek news, just be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you the next time on Checkpoint. Bye! No bias.